Our first question comes from Galloping Ghost 420. Great name. <laughs> it says, Hey, OG, did you hear about the new Kung Fu TV show and production starring Donnie Yen? Knowing what we know now about the original with Bruce Lee, etc., who do you think is the perfect cane? Carradine, Lee, or Yen? Hmm. Okay. Galloping Ghost 420, thank you for the question. Um, interesting. Yes, I, I have heard that there was a, um, a retelling or reimagining of a new Kung Fu TV series that was in production um, or in pre-production and they're working on it with uh, Donnie Yen assuming the role of um, Carradine's Kane in this sort of retelling, right? Um, I did hear about that. I don't know, I haven't heard any news as to when we can look to see like an official announcement um, or a trailer or anything of that nature, but um, I absolutely was intrigued. Um, I happen to know that Donnie Yen speaks fluent English, so that won't be an issue. Um, so yeah, interesting, interesting, um, and, I, and I'll give it a chance. Listen, um, I believe, and I'm not sure where people are in their, you know, in their region, what channel it would be, but I know here in the Midwest, um, there is a Kung Fu TV show. I believe it was recently canceled. And I believe that in their modern retelling of it, I believe that the main protagonist was a female. But don't quote me because I've never actually watched the show. Um, but I, I believe that it didn't. I, did, I don't believe it got past season one. I could be wrong. But I have to fact check that. Um, with regard to this new show, um, it's a bit of an unfair question, Galloping Ghost, and, and, and I'll tell you why. Um, first of all, I'm not even sure if the story is correct. Um, there are, there are, depending on whose side you've heard, um, there are some who suggested that the original Kung Fu TV show was the brainchild of Bruce Lee and another producer, and it was understood that Bruce Lee would assume the role of Kane in the original uh, original TV series and that somehow he got screwed out of his position. Um, it, you can see this, uh, you know, you can see it realized if you ever watched the movie Dragon. But again, the movie Dragon, if I'm being fair, which I, I actually like the movie, if I'm being fair, it's being told from a certain perspective. So I'm not even sure if that's true or not. But let's just assume that it is. The question is unfair because we never actually got to see Bruce in the role. And if we're really being honest, we have such a small sample size of Bruce Lee's actual work. Yes, he has been immortalized on film and his martial arts prowess is spectacular. His acting prowess, on the other hand, I'm not so not so sure. I, Bruce is, in my opinion, one of those actors who basically played himself in every movie. <laughs> so I'm not sure. Also, there is a certain um, because again, the character, if we're going off of the TV show, was incredibly soft-spoken and humble. And I'm not sure that Bruce, I'm not sure, and again, I, I, we, we'll never know. I'm not sure that he had the type of acting range that he would be able to pull that off. He was bigger than life. The camera loved him. And he was, um, he was very sure of himself, right? Even if you even watch episodes of The Green Hornet, Bruce's Cato was uber confident. <laughs> he was as confident as the lead, right? Green Hornet. He never he he played the character as an equal and not as subservient to the Green Hornet's character. Even when he was in his manservant butler role on that TV show, he was bigger than life, uber confident. So again, not sure, not sure how that would play out on the camera. So that it's a bit of an unfair question, but we can talk about the other two. So from my personal perspective, as someone who the TV show Kung Fu used to come on Sundays in the morning, um, 
and I used to watch it with my grandfather, there was um, the shows that my grandfather watched on Sundays was Lone Ranger, Cisco Kid, Wild Wild West, and Kung Fu. And my grandfather liked the show. I never liked the show. I did not like it. I've done some rewatches of it now as an adult. I still don't like it, right? First and foremost, I don't know what David Carradine has done recently or later in his life. My understanding is, is that he did go and, 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 and study martial arts. But when the show was actually being filmed and done, David Carradine didn't know a lick of martial arts. Not a lick. So, so that's first and foremost. To me, the martial arts on the show was whack. And for a show called Kung Fu, come on, man. You got to have somebody who's dope. So let's let's start there. Also, he wasn't believable as an Asian man. Not even half Asian. I didn't. I never bought it. I never bought it. So, and I get it. I know that's a product of the times. I know. I understand about whitewashing and all those good things. I I, I get it. But just even from a believability factor, I didn't like it. Right? I didn't like the show. I know it was supposed to have this kind of Western vibe, and you know, as he you know roamed roamed the countryside, solving problems and all this. I just didn't, I, he was just never believable for me, right? I've seen him in later things. I liked him better in Kill Bill. <laughs> but again, that's, you know, that it's, it's really subjective. It's really about opinions. I just personally, for my taste, I don't like David Carradine as a martial arts actor, right? So there's that. Now, Donnie Yen, on the other hand, and I don't want anyone, I know in the comments you guys are going to say, oh, OG Ann is a, is, a, is a Donnie Yen stan. He's always on and on about Donnie Yen. Hey, man, I love a lot of martial artists. Donnie Yen just happens to be a contemporary who his work, even from the 70s to present, has been exceptional, right? Of course, he's had some duds. Ooh, everyone, everyone has duds in their catalog, right? But... Donnie Yen has Riz. He has it. He has Riz. He was dope. Dope in John Wick 4. You all know it, right? I don't even have to tell you how dope he was in Ip Man, right? It's not his fault that they drag Ip Man now. We got Ip Man 5 coming. That's not his fault. Hey, they offered him a, a, a job and a role and, and, and an opportunity to get a bag. He should do it. He should keep doing Ip Man. He should keep doing Ip Man 5 as long as Hey, no one seemed to have a problem with Keanu doing John Wick 8, 9, 10, and 11. So, Donnie Yen, get your bag, right? As far as the TV show is concerned, I think he's got that charisma um, that would be believable. I wish, I wish he would, I don't know. It depends on how the script is written. I wish he would have done something like this maybe about 10 years earlier, right? Because he is starting to age. You can start to see it in his face a bit. But... That being said, in my opinion, David Carradine also looked old and weathered uh, on the TV show. So there's that. The martial arts technique, prowess, and skill. We know that's going to be incredible. We just know it. We just know it. The problem is, is that in a lot of movies where you do this kind of cross-cultural thing, you have like an Asian fighter you know, fighting against, let's use this example, the West, where they didn't, they weren't exposed to martial arts. So it's really just going to be Kung Fu versus brawling, right? He's going to win every time. <laughs> and, you know, in the old West, I mean, they just, they, they were just throwing punches. So unless they find a way to modernize it, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Of course, obviously, I will give it a chance and we'll have to see. But as far as your question is concerned, between Bruce, David Carradine and Donnie Yen, I got to go with Donnie Yen. I got to go with the with the present guy. Again, Bruce wasn't we never really got a, a true sample size of Bruce's acting chops. Um, the martial arts would have been great. Sure. Um, David Carradine, in my opinion, trash. Um, and, and there's that. So, hey, look, 
Thanks for the question. We love it. We appreciate it. Keep them coming. Um, Galloping Ghost 420. Again, uh, it's a great question, and I want to thank you. Hey, you guys, comment below and let us know what you think. Who would be the best Kane in the new Kung Fu series? Would it be Bruce Lee, David Carradine, or Donnie Yen? Hey, hit us up and let us know. Until then, on to the next question. Let's go!